Hello, and welcome to another episode of Oh No! I love Halloween. And every day is Halloween when you're a four that dresses up like a six. Today is actually Halloween, and you are trick-or-treaters. And you just rang Mama June's doorbell, and she is here to give you one hell of a treat. <laughs> Now, throughout the years, I have shown you some crazy, crazy, cringy shit. But I don't think you're mentally prepared for what I am about to show you. And like always, yes, there is a safe word if you cannot handle the cringe. Today's safe word is hippity hoppity, I want my life to stoppity. If you've been around as long as I have, which is roughly too long. You've probably heard the phrase feminism is a religion, or you've heard people compare feminism to a religion. And it was never literal. Until now. Pussy church of modern witchcraft. Sisterhood is sacred. Yes, this is real. Can I just vent about this sisterhood buffoonery for a second, please? Can I just take a seat right quick? Can I just pop a squat? Just because I am female, just because I have a vagina does not mean I am your sister or part of your sisterhood cult. Even like some MGTOWs do this shit. Don't trust the whammon, brother! Men are not your brothers, women are not your sisters. There's absolutely nothing more but frustrating than being grouped in with a bunch of crazies because you share the same genets or the same race. Hell, even the same political leaning. We're all individuals. Okay, let us move on. Thank you for finding us in virtual space. We are a congregation of female-born, lesbian-led women devoted to the liberation of women and girls from the oppression we face based on our sex. Please spend time reviewing the content on our website. Email us with any questions. Why am I pee, -pee hard? Why the pussy church? Hey, I was thinking the same thing. Why? Just why? We come together to form a congregation of adherence to our female-born, lesbian, feminist-based religions, beliefs, and traditions. We intend to serve our adherence through worship, service, and sistership with our congregants. We intend to accomplish the growth and continued strengthening of our congregation. The beneficiaries to our accomplishments are the adherence to our religious beliefs, women and girls. We will achieve our purpose through regular worship and service with our congregants and with other women and girls who may wish to become congregants. That was literally the same sentence repeated three times in different ways, but okay, do you go on. <laughs> Pussy church shirts available on Teespring. Oh hell yes! How many ironic t-shirts can I buy until it stops being ironic? Asking for a friend. That's where all your Patreon money goes, by the way. <laughs> A woman instead of a men. How is this real? It honestly feels like I made this years ago as a parody and somehow forgot about it. You know that giant CERN particle collider? That something happened in like 2015 and they successfully collided parody and reality. And that's just the world that we've been living in ever since. No men allowed. Unisex shirts. Ha! Friggin' owned. Who may become a member? Any woman or girl who was born female may become a member of the Pussy Church. Being female at birth. Being female at birth. So basically, the only thing you need to join this church is be born female. Which means, these girls wouldn't be allowed, and these guys would. But uh, whatever. So this is a radical feminist church that excludes anyone with a penis. So yes, naturally, it is a turf church. But don't call them that. Definitely don't call them that, or else they'll just tell you that you have a dick. Even if you're a cis woman. Because clearly, everyone who laughs at your vagina cult must be a dude. Everyone who hates us happens to be a man. Wow, weird. Oh, you go and learn today. Hello, welcome to Shoe on Head. I am the one they call when the fruit is no longer low and has fallen on the ground and is rotting. You seem obsessed with penis. Coming from the- I'm not even- I'm not even. Ollie! <laughs> Stop! God damn it! Freaking clumsy little Finn. You know, you only exist for my amusement. So by now you're probably like, shoo, they're not that bad. They're just typical radical feminist turf types. You know, what's 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 the big deal? Relax, mother bitch! You haven't heard their chants yet. This one's called Blessed Be the Blood. 
Cloth pads absorb pools of red, bled, and shed my monthly spool of red thread. <laughs> Hold up, rewind. I heard liquid. Did you hear liquid? I hope to God that's water. Blessed be the blood on your skirt. Blessed be the blood on your thighs. Blessed be the blood. Blessed be the blood. Blessed be the blood on your skirt. Blessed be the blood on your thighs. Blessed be the blood. Blessed be the blood. Now, I know I've said it before, but feminists are obsessed with their periods because it's the one thing men cannot have. So they try to make it seem like this magical, special, all-powerful thing. They make art of it, they make songs of it, they smear it all over themselves. Could you imagine if men's rights activists, like, smeared themselves in semen? This reminds me so much of when I would go to church with my family and there would be this extremely low-energy band playing. Doing all these chants about- <coughs> Oh, Jesus is smiling me. <coughs> Blessed be the blood. Blessed be the blood. I love the snapping, by the way. That's her Thanosing my will to live. With every snap, just- Bear us up, elephants. Bear us up, sisters. Bear us up, elephants. Bear us up. Sisters, we ride upon your back. We walk beside you. Elephants, we are you. It's really hard not to make the obvious joke. It's right there. It's right there. We are going around and around and around and around and around. And around and around and around and around and around and around Around and around and around. See? They are referencing the CERN particle thing. This is a conspiracy. Pull it up from your womb. Pull it up from your womb. Pull it up from your womb. Pull it up. Pull it up. Use it. Channel it. Paint with it. Sing with it. Work with it. Build with it. Love with it. Love with it. Love with it. Fight with it, love with it, bring it up, 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 all the time, bring it up, constantly, bring it up, all the time, never stop, bring it up, never stop talking about your vagina. Our wounds, 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 wounds, wounds. Wounds, 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 wounds. Are turfs okay? All right, all right, that's it, that's it. So like always, I just wanted to show you guys something weird that I found on the internet, but what do you think of the turf church? I think since they're not really hurting anybody and they're kind of confined in their weirdness, they have every right to exist and have every right to have their own space, but we have every right to laugh at them. If you could open a church to worship anything, what would it be? Tell me in the comments, and I will see you guys next time. Blessed be the blood, blessed be the blood.